welcome to another edition of Solar PV TV's Global Weekly News, powered by PV Magazine. Coming up in this week's edition. As our top story, GCL Poly will sell off its wafer business. In market and policy updates, Japanese PV module demand continues to grow. China may miss its full-year solar targets. Germany reports its slowest PV market in nearly five years. France launches a solicitation for 400 megawatts of solar PV. And South Africa has delayed announcing the winners under the fourth round of its renewable energy procurement program. Business headlines SolarMax's parent company has filed for insolvency. Trina Solar has surpassed Yingli as the world's largest PV module maker. German utility E.ON will shift its focus to renewable energy. Megacell plans to build a new bifacial solar cell and module factory in Egypt. Aqua Power has offered the lowest bid to build a 100 megawatt PV project in Dubai. Rene Solar shipments and revenues fall during Q3. LG has merged its solar, lighting and energy storage businesses into a new unit. And Chile approves SMA inverters for net metering. Technology news. Electric has commissioned a massive energy storage system at a PV plant in Germany. Starting with top story. The world's largest polysilicon and wafer maker has entered agreements to sell off its wafer business and two ingot factories for a total of 1.3 billion US dollars. GCL Poly will sell one wafer and one ingot facility in Wuxi to Jiangsu Golden Concord Energy Company and will sell six wafer and one ingot factories in Jiangsu to two Chinese investment firms. Solar PV TV spoke with Mercom Capital CEO Raj Prabhu about the sale. I think, uh, you know, with this announcement, they want to actually get back to their roots. That is, you know, they're focusing on technology and development of upstream polysilicon and actually uh, restructure and reposition themselves away from wafer. So I think they were a little bit spread out between wafer and polysilicon. And um, and as the industry has progressed, I think they're looking at polysilicon as their core competency, and that's where they wanna um, they wanna uh, place their focus on going forward. This is primarily um, a debt issue uh, within the company. They're obviously trying to reduce their their debt burden. I think their debt equity debt to equity ratio is really high. It's about uh, almost 150 percent. And they're trying to get that down to like, you know, uh, below 50 to uh, about 40 percent or so. In market and policy update. Demand for solar PV modules in Japan reached over 2.5 gigawatts in the most recent financial quarter, which ended on September 30th, according to data by the Japanese Photovoltaic Energy Association. Japanese companies represented roughly two-thirds of quarterly shipments, however, the majority of modules shipped to the market were assembled overseas. As in the previous quarters, exports from Japan made up a very small portion of overall shipments. Delayed project completions may cause China to miss its target to install 13 gigawatts of solar PV this year. Chinese officials have warned Bloomberg that there isn't enough time for the nation to reach its annual target and that project delays will have an impact on the nation's smaller PV markets. Bloomberg analysts have warned that Japan may represent a larger market than China over the full year 2014. The German solar PV market saw its slowest month in almost five years in October. During the month, Germany installed only 75 megawatts of solar PV, confirming the damage done to the sector by recent changes to the nation's renewable energy policies. France has launched a solicitation for solar PV projects larger than 250 kilowatts. Up to 400 megawatts of capacity will be awarded under three separate tranches, including carport, rooftop and ground-mounted PV systems. Developers must submit applications by June 1st. <music> Business headlines. In a surprise announcement, the parent company of Swiss inverter maker SolarMax has announced that it will file for insolvency and has suspended work at the company's factories. Sputnik Engineering also says that an administrator has already taken over the company. Analysts have cited both SolarMax's declining market share and the global fall in inverter prices as a reason for the company's difficult position. 
Trina Solar has surpassed Yingli as the world's largest solar PV module maker in the first nine months of 2014. Trina shipped more than 2.5 gigawatts of PV modules during this period, as opposed to Yingli's 2.4 gigawatts. Additionally, Trina has announced a larger guidance at more than 3.6 gigawatts over the full year, while Yingli expects only around 3.3 gigawatts. Jinko Solar is expected to rise to third place with 2.9 to 3.2 gigawatts over the full year. Germany's largest utility has announced that it will spin off its conventional power plants into a new company in 2016. E.ON will now focus on renewable energy, distribution and direct service to household and commercial consumers. Italy's Megacell has announced a memorandum of understanding with an Egyptian investment bank to build a solar PV factory near Cairo. The plant will have the capacity to produce 120 megawatts of bifacial solar PV cells and modules annually. The Dubai Electricity and Water Authority has published results of its solicitation to build a 100 megawatt solar PV plant in the nation. Saudi Arabia's Aqua Power offered the lowest of 10 bids at just under 6 US cents per kilowatt hour. Rene Sola's shipments and revenues both fell in the third quarter of 2014 as the company reported positive margins but a slight loss. Rene Sola blames a delay in shipments due to the anticipation of new lower minimum import prices in Europe. Chile has approved two SMA inverter models for use in PV systems participating in its new net metering policy as the first company to qualify under the program. Regulations for the program were finalized in October and PV systems up to 100 kilowatts are eligible to participate. South Africa is delaying the announcement of the winners of the fourth round of the Renewable Energy Independent Power Producer Program past the initial date of November 24th. Officials have not said when winners will be declared. The delay comes as national utility ESCOM has confirmed that it cannot connect more independent power projects to the grid, leading to a delayed financial close for 17 projects awarded in the previous round of the program. Korean conglomerate LG has merged its solar, lighting and energy storage businesses into a new energy business center as part of a reorganization of business units across the company. LG says that executive VP Sang Bong Lee will lead the new unit and expects the move to boost its competitiveness. Technology News Bilectric and Vattenfall have commissioned a new energy storage system at the Altdaber solar PV plant in Germany. The 800 kilowatt system uses lead acid batteries and will inject power into the high voltage distribution network. Bilectric says the battery system allows the PV plant to be on equal footing with conventional generation. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and we look forward to meeting you next week.